hundred packs of me, mate, for you and me in your body. Darabite Nutritional Supplement is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. The term quality assurance means maintaining a high quality of health care by constantly measuring the effectiveness of the organizations that provide it. Quality assurance involves detection and prevention of manufacturing defects in products and delivery of effective solutions or services to customers. Quality management is focused on providing confidence and maintenance of desired quality of products or services by means of checking every stage of production and delivery. Quality assurance also encompasses the processes and procedures that systematically monitor different aspects of the products or services provided at the facility. Quality assurance plays a vital role in ensuring the quality and acceptability of products or services by planning, directing, coordinating, or formulating quality control program and policies. This improves efficiency and profitability of an organization by reducing waste. Today on your regular Health Talk TV talk show, the physicians will be discussing quality assurance in healthcare services. Stay tuned. Every day and in every way, enjoy that I find support. No matter the role you play, you dream back some me, mate, for you and me, in your body. Darabite Nutritional Supplement is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. It's another day with the physicians where your health is our business. Today we'll be talking about quality assurance in healthcare services. My name is Dr. Martina Agberian, your anchor for today. And with me in the studio is a consultant, public health physician. She is also a certified management consultant and trainer, a retired general manager operations with the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, HMO. She's no other person than our very delectable, intelligent, cerebral, Dr. Gertrude Anthony Bassi. Dr. Bassi, you're welcome to your program. Thank you. Nice having you again. <laughs> I'm so you. excited. The longest time. Thank you so yes, much, Martina. Thank you, thank you. We are glad to be here. I'm so happy that you are, you are listening to this again. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. I really appreciate it. So let's just deep dive into today's uh, topic, talking about quality assurance in healthcare services. Let's first of all start. What do you mean by quality assurance? What does it mean? What is it? Quality assurance, quality control. What is quality assurance? Thank you so much, uh, Martina. Um, it's very nice, and I'm very happy to talk about quality assurance in healthcare services. Oh. Because when it first started, it was the manufacturers that were talking about quality assurance and quality controls in their products. Mm. But so, in healthcare service, we are trying to talk about systemic processes that make sure that the health services we are providing meets and exceeds patients' expectations. So we are using patients here because it's healthcare. Otherwise, we would say it meets and ex uh, exceeds customer expectations. But now patients are now in bracket. So now we are talking about our patients. Yeah, okay. That wherever they come to the hospitals, from the beginning, from the medical records, from even the security men, that is a systemic process that is put in place to make sure that from the security post to when they are out of the hospitals, that we meet and in fact expect their expectation within best practices and acceptable limits. 
Okay. And so that is why we are talking about quality assurance, meeting best practices. There is a benchmark. So we just don't do it the way we want. It has to be a standard procedure. A standard procedure. procedure. Okay, so that is quality assurance, rendering such services, okay? So, and obviously, there must be some key elements to this. And before talking about the key elements, who are those that are responsible to ensuring that this thing is actually done? Quality services are rendered. And is that the reason why we now have what we call the Cervicon in hospitals? Are they part of those that are susceptible to checkmates? Oh, yes, uh, part of the services. But that quality assurance that is now coming to the system has to be top-driven. Okay. There has to be a structure. Okay. There has to be the processes, the systemic put in place. Somebody has to monitor it, and we have to evaluate what is put in place. Okay. What should we do? Who is responsible for what? Okay. Who is re reporting to what? And so for continuous improvements. Okay. Because if you just put it, nobody monitors it, then there will not be any continuous. All of this is for continuous improvements. Improvement. And to make sure that our patients are served the best. We delight our patients. Awesome. We've gone past customer expectation. Yes. We've got we excellence. They will say customer excellence. What is, no, we want to delight our patients. Okay, so we always say the customer is key. So here the patient's is key. It's key. And king. Okay, so what are, the, what are the elements, actually, the key elements of quality assurance? The key elements of quality assurance in healthcare services starts with the fact that that health service must be safe. <laughs> it has to be safe. And so with infection control procedures, so the safety is a whole big lot. That from the people don't go to hospitals to want to go and take infections. And even the doctor and the staff there, that environment has to be safe and friendly for all workers, both workers and patients. Okay. It has, whatever we are offering to the patient, we have to be effective, be it in managing, in prescription, in the drugs, in nursing care, everywhere we, we are working with effectivity of what we do with time. We are also working that what we offer a patient must be safe. We have to benchmark. It has to be efficient, rather. Okay. We have to benchmark. So that is why when we are talking about quality assurance and we are talking about effectivity, we are talking about the process and the system, it cuts across all departments, okay. all strata. Okay. It also has to be patient-centered. Good. Wherever wow. we are, whether the patient goes to the laboratory, he goes to the radiology, he goes to the nursing test station, he goes to the ward, we are there, all the workers there are for the patient. So for it to say we, the, this hospital is quality assured, and there is a society of healthcare quality in Nigeria, and very soon they will go to certify hospitals at having the patient has to be centered. Our services must be timely. Good. It has to be timely. Okay. You know, Ghana, that's why these things, I'm so happy you're choosing this topic because people complain when they go to hospitals, they're waiting for too long, they're not getting to time be, is so long. So long is part of the outcomes of quality assurance, okay. timeliness. Okay. And it has to be equitable. Okay. It has to be equitable because what is good for patient A may not be good for patient B. Mm -hmm. So it has to be quick. So these are the key elements of quality assurance, and it has to cut through all the departments of the hospital, okay. be it the janitor, be it the, the drivers, the housekeepers. Everybody should have their own set of processes to monitor quality assurance and which will be routinely evaluated, Rated. implemented, results taken, corrections done. Okay, so in, uh, talking about quality assurance, okay, with all these safety things you are putting in place, is it supposed to be need-based? For instance, setting a hospital facility in a particular area, is there a control to saying that, okay, the pe people around this area do not need this facility at this place? Do you understand? For instance, in rural communities, mm -hmm. Where the, you, what the disease condition that you usually have are just infectious diseases and those sorts of things. They're going to put a cardiology hospital in there. Is, that, is, there, is there any relationship? Yes, there is a relationship because if it is not 
uh, government related. You are mm. not, you are, you are going to run at a loss. Okay. So usually, citing any facility or any business, as the case may be, it has to be need-based. Okay. What will be most useful and valuable for that community? Okay. What will we do? So it's part of to quality assurance, and when they come, they find out that it's not effective. Okay. Is okay. not efficient what we are doing here. Maybe the cardiologist comes, sees three patients, whereas if it was in the urban areas, he may be seeing many people, and so you can report as part of the monitoring and evaluation to say, we don't think we need a cardiologist here, we possibly would need a public health physician. Doctor, you are going to just hold on there so that we can get uh, in touch with uh, those that are keeping up with the physicians. We need to hear from them. The experiences in hospitals. Have you gone to hospital before and you were dissatisfied? You were not happy? Did they attend to you cordially in a, in a manner that even made you happy? But there are times you go to hospital and you go, go back worse than you actually went in the first instance. Let's hear from you. Let's hear your experiences. Share with us private hospitals, government hospitals, because you have a voice, because you, the patient, is key. We're back after this short break. Stay tuned. Of getting quality medical care in Nigeria. Many of us know that most of our doctors they are leaving the country. Everybody is the jackpot. Okay. See, because they too they do what they, they package for is too poor. Okay. Which all of us can see. Look at our president now. If you want to go and do medical medical trip, you fly abroad. It's not supposed to be so. It's supposed to improve our medical facilities. If they build more hospitals, then they make the economy to be okay for the for Nigerians to be able to stay. Besides the doctors, because now like, what I can see is that uh, I, I just pray that. It's not going to say that uh, it will be all this babala with all this, uh, what we call the mama, that will be giving us agbo in the hospital as time goes on. Because all of them are living and it's very painful to us as Nigerians. That's a year. I, I, will say, I won't say, no, maybe year 2023. Okay. Yes, now. My girlfriend is pregnant. Maybe she's not pregnant or she's pregnant, but she's doubting me. Okay. So when we get to Gandhi, uh, Baja Hospital, Shasta, when we get there, Shasta now. So we were like, okay, test this babe. Let us know maybe she's pregnant or not. Before we know, you just write drug for us. Okay. Then we go and buy drug. Okay. Meanwhile, they have not tested her. Ah. Okay. Yeah, they got it. Yeah. So that is challenge I just. Oh, okay. All right. Um, no, really. I don't face many, many problems, but only my problem for treatment is malaria, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Every day and in every way, enjoy that I find support. No matter the role you play, you dream back supplement for you and me in your body. Darabite Nutritional Supplement is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. Welcome back. If you have just joined us, you're on to your regular health TV talk show, The Physicians. Why your health is our business. We've been talking about quality control, quality assurance in healthcare services. And uh, Dr. Jetrud Bassi has been doing justice to that. She's a consultant, public health physician, and a certified management consultant. And before we went to break, she told us about the processes and things that have to be in place, and she has made it known to us that customer, in this case, the patient, is key. He needs to have quality services. And if it's not, she doesn't, if the patient doesn't have a, such a thing, then it means she has a right to report to the appropriate authority. Dr. Bassi, again, I say, welcome. Before we went on break, you told us about these processes. It has to be effective. People have to render quality services. And there is a baseline. There must be a benchmark. So now let's go straight to how is it developed? Yes, it, it, right now, there are standards. And there are processes and procedures. And you hear when they want to come and say they are doing ISO certified okay. and different certifications in South Africa. You know, all of that are for standards. Mm -hmm. And so okay. some hospitals are ISO certified and all of those. So it's, it, what 
it means that if you have a hospital or any facility for in the case maybe you want it to be of quality you have to set up a structure a steering committee where are you today what do you want to do and after the steering committees they will do a pre-audit of where you are and after the pre-audit they will now come and do audits and put you on structures what you need to do and the appropriateness of what you are doing like what you said appropriateness of the services you are rendering vis-a-vis -vis those you are rendering it to and what you are doing then they come and do a peer review Hmm. And after the field peer review, they did monitor and evaluation, all for continuous improvement. And so in all of this, there are officers that are earmarked to follow it up and report. Okay. So you can do quarterly reviews, monthly. When you start, it has to be more regular. Thereafter, monthly and quarterly reviews on the quality assurance. And then you can be certified f as either certified with, what, with benchmark okay. to either you have the ISO certifications okay. and different certifications across the globe. Okay. Why is it important that we do all this? It is important we do this so that you have so many complaints. So if you know that you are being benchmarked against certain standards, the physicians that we hear are being watched, the patients have their duties and expectations, everybody in the healthcare chain is monitored. So all of this is for the appropriateness and safety of our patients. So that when we, when you are walking into the hospital, you are safe, you are guaranteed, you are confident, and so you will be able to know that you are going to get service as appropriate. Yes, I want to. And when do you? Whose responsibility is it to checkmate all this? When the steering committee is done, Okay. Usually, is a management quality like In safety, is and security is a management driven affairs of the hospital. Okay. But everybody should be involved. So, a management thing. So, from what you are saying, it looks more like it's the government hospitals that are more involved. That should be that this quality control thing should uh, be monitored. Everybody should be monitored. Okay. Mistakes happen everywhere. Okay. And nobody is above any mistakes. How often should this be done? When after setting up the quality control systems, you do it quarterly. Then after you've been certified, it's a yearly procedure. A yearly procedure. For the fault has what happens? In this country, um, not much can happen, but there are agencies of government that can be reported to when it is set up. I'm afraid most most of the private ho hospitals set up these quality assurance control systems, but the general hospitals are still coming. They've got Servicom. So we need to evaluate how far has Servicom gone? gone, how far has it saved us, can it be improved upon, what are the necessary things I need to do, all for the benefit of the health community. All for the benefit of the health community. I want to just say thank you again, Dr. Bassi. It's been interesting. At least we know that the patients have their voice. They do. They can speak. Yes. And it's actually supposed to put doctors, nurses, all healthcare providers on check, check. on their toes. Because yes. when they do the right thing, will get there. Yes. So there's nothing as good as having uh, going to the hospital, uh, even where before you come out of the hospital. Thank you so much, and I'm sure we'll still invite you again <laughs> to come on our program. And to have you asked us, I want to just say thank you for keeping a date with us. It's always a delight. Knowing that they are always there waiting to listen to the physicians. You're one of your, your favorite health talk show on TV. Yes, 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 it is. I really appreciate you for bringing your families, your calling your friends to be part of this program. You've heard what Dr. Bassi said about quality control. You have a voice. When you go to hospital, if you don't like the services being rendered, you have a right to talk. So why do you have the right, right to complain? Because there is a standard that must be kept. If I do my part, you do your part. Healthcare services, rendered, the facilities, everything will become better. Good health is better than wealth. On this note, I want to say thank you again for keeping the day with us. Remember to follow us on our social media platforms, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And again, we have had over 250 episodes on our program. Go to YouTube. Just binge on them. And if you want to be part of this program, like Dr. Bassi, just go and like, send us an email. I will invite you. My name still remains Dr. Martina Agberia. The next time, stay blessed.
I'm Dr. Mundupe Adedeji. I work at Lagos State University Teaching Hospital. I'm happy to be here in the program talking about how we navigate motherhood, pregnancy, labor, delivery, postpartum period are the normal things that a woman should go through. It could be painful, but we expect that the outing should be profiting. The mother is fine and the baby is fine. It's so important that we know about this period and know exactly what to do at each point in time. I'm happy to be here. Please keep watching the physicians. Uh, my name, once again, is Ignatius Shebanyan, pharmacist, uh, sales manager with Elbe Pharma. And uh, today I just want you to understand the importance of keeping the skin, the nail and the hairs healthy. Apart from the fact that the skin is the largest organ in the body, it is the most protective organ against any kind of infection. It is the first port of contact for fungal skin infections, bacterial skin infections. And being, collagen being a huge component of the skin, collagen is an important supplement that as a human being, as an adult beyond the age of 20, you need to get yourself involved in taking so as to keep the skin healthy and the aesthetic appearance of that skin. We also want to assure you that from LBA Pharma, our product, Perfect Tree, combines collagen, gem seed oil, as well as grape seed extract that give a combination of minerals and extracts that when combined together will help improve collagen and the synthesis of collagen that the body needs to keep skin healthy and beautiful. You can always contact us via our e e email addresses, websites, and even our representatives from all over the country. Once again, thank you for this opportunity, and we hope to meet you more often. Keep, keep watching. The Physician, one of the best programs that gives health and awareness and creates, more importantly, the knowledge you desire to keep yourself healthy. The Physician is where to be. Thank you so much. Great! Thank you killed it! You Every day and in every way, enjoy that I find support. No matter the role you play, you dream back supplement for you and me in your body. Yoruba Nutritional Supplement is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. Darabite.